Hi, and welcome to the How to Register Your Child for Collingswood Little League Baseball. As you've read in the email that we had sent out, we had recently made a move to a company called Blue Sombrero uh, to handle our online registration as well as league management functionality. And while there are certainly many benefits to the league to make that move, there are also many benefits to the parents, uh, which align very nicely to the results of the survey that we had sent out towards the end of last year. Such things as being able to track scores, to be able to track standings for those leagues where we track and divisions that we track that information, but also giving parents the ability to volunteer online, to be able to purchase league apparel online. But certainly, there's a financial component to it from the league as well as for the parents. And from a parent's perspective, you'll see that in the reduced merchant account fees, which were basically are those MasterCard, Visa, American Express charges. Now, that being said, the credentials that you used last year up until the fall of 2016 will not work with Blue Sombrero. So what you'll need to do is to be able to create a brand new account. And we're going to show you how to do that in this video here. So that's going to start off from our home page, from the link within that, from the email. And you're just going to click the register button. So as a create new account page loads, fill in the appropriate fields, and then go ahead and click on the create account button. So as we move on to the next page, it's going to ask for more information about you. So go ahead and fill in the appropriate fields as we see here. Two things I want to point out on this page. First one is the cell phone field as a result of the request for better communication. Obviously, we're going to be able to communicate via email using Blue Sombrero at the league level and the team level, but also to be able to send out text messages from both those levels as well. So as you populate this information in, you agree receiving text messages, we'll be able to use that as a line of communication for not only yourself, but should you add a second account holder, as they enter their email address and cell phone, those become communication methods that we can also use as well. So once you have this page filled out, go ahead and click on the continue button. This little window is going to open up and asking what would you like to do. The majority of you are going to click this first icon here, saying that you're a parent or guardian, registering a participant, and that is then going to drive you into information about your child. And as you fill out the information on this page here, you're going to notice a couple things. It's gonna be asking for your child's date of birth, this, whatever you populate here, is what's going to determine what division they are going to be eligible for. So we're not going to have to ask you which division to register for. And if your child has a different address than you may, go ahead and enter this information down here. Now, certainly, if you have multiple children, go ahead and click the Add Another Participant button down at the bottom here. Otherwise, go ahead and click Continue over on the right side. So as I mentioned on the previous page, the system is automatically defining what division your child will play for based upon the birth date with the appropriate cost. And so what you'll need to do is just come over here and click the Register button. So go ahead and make that selection so it reads Selected. Click on Continue. So as we move into the next page, you'll notice a couple sections here. Uh, first one deals with the volunteer fee. This is something that does need to be accepted. The volunteer fee is being applied to all registrants or all accounts, I should say. And off of that volunteer fee, you will receive that money back once you volunteer for an appropriate position. As we move into the next section, emergency contact information, feel free to overwrite this information if need be. And then as we get down to the bottom, some miscellaneous questions such as jersey size and the school that your child is attending. Uh, the jersey size is mandatory, so you'll need to populate that to make sure we have an appropriate size jersey for him or her when they get assigned a team. So go ahead, once you have that information on this page filled out, go ahead and click on continue. As that next page loads, we get brought to the page of giving you the ability to volunteer off of the website. A couple of things that you'll notice, not only the positions that you can potentially volunteer for, but also based upon the registration that had occurred before, we've started to put together the shopping cart over on the right-hand side of the page here. So let's go ahead and volunteer as a snack stand volunteer by clicking Selected and then moving on into Continue. And then it's off of here, it's going to ask a series of questions. It's going to ask who's the person that would like to volunteer. So if it's only yourself that you registered for at the time, go ahead and select yourself or you have the ability to add another user, somebody else in the family that may want to uh, volunteer on behalf of yourself. Make that selection and then it's going to ask a series of questions based upon the position that you volunteered for. Go ahead and click continue. So as that next page loads, we're going to look at the registration summary. As we mentioned before, based upon the divisions in which your son was or daughter was being registered in, we're going to see the subtotals over on the right-hand side. But then also to be able to break it down based upon the division price. And in this instance, because we're registering so early, we have an early bird discount. Make sure you get your registration in as early as possible because after a certain date, there are late fees 
Uh, we also see the, the volunteer fee being associated, which brings us to our subtotal here, and then giving you the ability to determine how you would like to pay for this. So we're going to go ahead and make the selection of pay it in full right now and go ahead and click continue. So let's go ahead and click continue button. We move a little further down on the page here, asking for Visa, MasterCard, or American Express. Type in my credit card number with the appropriate expiration dates and then the security code, and then making sure that the billing address that is associated with this account for the MasterCard is the correct billing address that I have in front of me here. And then I go ahead and click the continue button. Then get the request for the confirmation, making sure that we see the pricing as it's as it's been outlined with the $90 for a minor baseball, early bird discount, plus the volunteer fee, plus the $10 donation equals $141. I am agreeing to accept the terms and conditions. And if you need to read that, you can click on the, the link there. And then go ahead and clicking the button. It's going to finish off saying, here's a summary, $141 will be charged to your credit card ending in the digits there. And then you'll also see the charge on the statement from, from Blue Sombrero. You will not see it from Collingswood Little League. Blue Sombrero, as I mentioned earlier, is our vendor for our online registration. And they are the ones that are going to be performing the charge for that. So what happens next? After we submit our order, you're being brought to a registration order summary page that outlines the fees and the costs and everything that we've talked, discussed, and shown you throughout the, the video so far. You'll also get a notice down at the very bottom that should also be sent out to you as an email as well. Uh, letting you know what those next steps are as we start to approach the season, the assignment of the teams, and uh, hearing from the coaches themselves. We will need you to also, you can do this here or via an email that we'll be sending out, to complete the Little League medical form. So if you can go ahead and click that either down here and do it, or it should be attached to, to the email that you'll be receiving, um, go ahead and complete that and then submit that uh, as soon as possible to the address that you see on the page here. Thank you for taking the time to watch how to register your child for Collins with Little League Baseball. As you're going through the process, and if you have any questions, over on the right-hand side of the page, there is an email address and a phone number. Feel free to send an email at any time uh, from a phone call perspective. Keep in mind that that does go to a member of the Collins with Little League board's cell phone number. Uh, so please be aware that any calls that are made after 8 o'clock in the evening will not be returned until the following day. Thank you.